For two days I stayed at the hotel. It was affordable, but because of my overspending on clothes, I began to look for cheaper quarters still. One evening I visited a small restaurant that served fish and chips. I discovered a young Australian man named Jerry, and he told me that the owner, a middle-aged woman named Anne, also owned a guest house. In fact, he was living there himself. So I moved there the next day. It was nice, newly constructed, so I did as I had done before. Every day I would rent a bike and take it for a few minutes ride to the old city. I would spend time checking up on the clothes I ordered, riding around the streets of the old city, and of course, relaxing in a restaurant or two. In the afternoon, I would usually return to the house, and sometimes I would head out for the beach, which was only 15 minutes away. After about four days, several adjustments and fittings, my clothes were finally done. Later in the afternoon, after picking up my finished suits, I headed back to the old town. Down by the riverfront, I found a restaurant with a table overlooking the street and the bridge. As darkness fell, the crowds increased ready to witness Hoi An's main attraction. Every 14th evening of the lunar month, Hoi An holds what's called a New Moon Festival. At about 6.30, the streets were blocked off to motorized traffic. And shortly thereafter, all buildings turned off their white lights, leaving only the colored lanterns to cast a warm glow over the buildings and off the water. A few children came up to sell paper lanterns to put in the water, but their charming entreaties didn't move me to part with my money. Oh, no thank you. No thank you. They did have some success with the people around me, though. <laughs> the waterfront, as well as the streets, were packed with visitors and locals. and it seemed as if it was taken as an opportunity for anyone to perform whatever they wanted. I walked back through the old town on the way home. The party was just getting started, but I was tired and had an early start in the morning, taking a day trip north. I had timed my visit to Hoi An to coincide with the New Moon Festival, and despite the crowds, like Saigon during Tet, it had been worth it. An unforgettable nocturnal spectacle with the old city of Hoi An as the stage and the star actor. My name is Caleb and this is Vietnam's answer to Savile Row and Siena. Hoi An. <laughs>